In this video, we're gonna get right into things. The VX3 is a highly programmable machine with several factory presets. These presets allow you to jump right in and then move on to more advanced features at your own pace. So let's begin. Pressing the on off button briefly displays the startup screen, which also displays your battery voltage. You should make note of this every time you begin using the VX3. After a few seconds, the screen goes straight into your normal search mode display. This is your main display screen and where you will spend most of your time. The VX3 features two display modes controlled by the trigger. Trigger neutral is the normal search mode. Trigger pulled and locked forward is the all metal pinpoint mode. Trigger neutral is the normal search mode display. The main part of the search screen is a three frequency spectrograph. The top of the screen features VDI number, icons, and depth associated with the target signal. Below the spectrograph is the status line, which contains icons for the status of the wireless headphones and backlight. In the middle of the status line, the name of the active program is displayed and is occasionally overwritten by the ground tracking status. The pinpoint mode places the VX3 in all metal mode and displays the pinpoint screen. This screen has depth, status line, and a live control bar, but no VDI or icons. The pinpoint display consists of three horizontal moving bars. These bars give the relative strengths of the three frequencies used to precisely pinpoint the target and determine which frequency is giving off the strongest signal. At the bottom of the screen is the live control bar, which gives you direct access to the menus and settings of the VX3. The VX3's menu items use a variety of different user interface controls, like radio buttons and sliders, that are very similar to those found on modern computers. The VX3 has a couple of ways to access menu items. The first method is using the live control bar. The second method is the main menu screen, which is accessed by pressing the menu tab button on the control panel. This method provides a more spread out version of the menus found in the live control bar. Both ways provide access to all menu items, with the live control bar being the quickest way to change settings while you are hunting. Pressing the enter button brings up the selected live control menu item, and the zoom view button expands the selected item for more detailed control over its settings. Keep in mind, the VX3 is live while accessing the live control bar, but suspended when you enter a menu item. There are eight menu items that contain all your settings. The first menu item on the live control bar is program select. If you highlight this and press the enter button, you will see a pop-up display listing all the available presets. You can easily scroll through these presets by pressing the down arrow button on your control panel. The VX3 has eight factory presets. These are coins, which accepts most common coins, including nickels, Coin and Jewelry, which accepts most common coins and jewelry mode. Salt Beach, which is coin and jewelry mode with salt subtraction mode. Relic Mode, which is no tone ID and no VCO. Prospecting Mode, which is an all metal mode optimized for nugget hunting. Deep Silver Mode, which is optimized for deep silver. High Pro, which is an advanced coin and jewelry mode. And last, Demo Mode, which is an extra program. Factory settings of this program are intended for in-store demos and are a great way for air testing providing a great way to learn more about your VX3 indoors. So now, just select the program and pull the trigger. Pulling the trigger returns you back to the main search screen after you've made your selection in any menu item. You can also change any of the factory default settings to your own likings which automatically get saved to memory. Continuing through the menu, next we have Backlight. If you highlight using the arrow key and pressing the enter button, a number adjustment pop-up box appears to adjust the brightness of the backlight from 1 to 20. The brighter the backlight, the more power consumption you use. The next menu item is audio levels. Selecting and pressing the enter button reveals a pop-up box containing the volume and threshold settings. The volume setting controls the loudness of the target response and the threshold controls the overall threshold hum. Next up is the sensitivity menu item. Upon entering this item, you are provided with RX gain adjustment and discrimination adjustment settings. These settings determine the responsiveness of the selected channel. Situated next to sensitivity is the discrimination menu item. This opens up all the available discrimination notches from negative 95 to positive 95. There are checkboxes next to each VDI number. Marking the box with an X enables the selected VDI number and an empty box disables it. Pressing the zoom view button opens up an expanded view in a full size menu. This contains all the VDI and icons associated with that number, making it a little easier to select. Next on the live control bar is the frequency menu item. This offers advanced settings for minimalizing EMI from power mains and radio frequencies 
as well as minimalizing interference from other detectors by providing slight offsets to the transmit frequencies. The live control bar makes finding the quickest offset easy. This menu item is especially useful for testing your VX3 indoors. Let's see how this works. With the loop held in the air, activate the pinpoint mode by pulling and holding the trigger. The EMI interference will be heard as a repetitive audio noise as the pinpoint bars bounce around. Making small adjustments to the selected frequency allow you to create and maintain a stable operational setup. The movement of the pinpoint bars should be minimal and steady. Release the trigger and you're all set. Next on the menu is the tracking item. This is where you can select between automatic and manual ground balance. The VX3's auto ground balance system features a fast track mode which attempts to balance the system to current soil conditions. You can also manual ground balance the VX3 if you choose, or if you do not start hunting within 20 seconds. To manual ground balance, squeeze and hold the trigger, then at the same time press and hold the enter button. Then pump the coil over the ground 1 to 12 inches until the background hum becomes steady. Then release the enter button and then the trigger in that exact order. Releasing the trigger first will result in locking the screen in pinpoint mode. Finally, the last item on the live control bar is ground filter. The VX3 offers two filters to choose from. A 5 kHz filter for low to modest mineralization and a 12.5 kHz for more severe ground conditions. This concludes the quick start video. Next we will move on to operating modes and more advanced features.